So how did it happen that on my honeymoon, I brought the most colorful EM that I have as the main way I listen to music? This is the Campfire Bonville, and it is the EM that I had on my latest trip to Italy, Venice. What is the Bonville and what does it do? This is a hybrid in-ear monitor or IM priced at 1000 399 US dollars. It has a hybrid design. It has one specially designed dynamic driver with two magnets. It has one balanced armature taking care of the mid-range and two balanced armatures taking care of the treble. The Bonville looks really beautiful. It can come with black shells or with violet shells. I prefer it with black shells, to be honest, because it already has violet accents. For example, the covers on the MMCX connectors are violet. The cover on the 4.4 millimeter balance jack is purple in color. And also at the Y split, we have a purple jacket, which gives it this accent. It can come with both universal shape, which is the version that I have because I typically go for universals as we don't really have any way of taking good impressions in Romania. <laughs> impressions are actually the way you measure your ear to take customs. And this comes in a custom design as well. Custom is an ear made just for your ear after your ear has been analyzed and it will match perfectly with the shape of your ear. So you may be wondering, why did I choose the Bonneville to be the EM that accompanies me in one of my most special periods of my life? The Bonneville has everything I believe a good EM should have. Starting with the ergonomics and the comfort, they do have slightly larger bodies, but they are rounded, they are ergonomic, and they offer a medium towards deep fitting, which means that you can expect excellent passive noise isolation. And usually this isn't quite as necessary for everyday activities as it is necessary for a plane trip. I can't really put in words how important it is to be isolated from the noise during a plane flight. We actually had the, let's say, misfortune that our plane was exchanged three times. The plane that actually flew us to Venice was extremely noisy. It had a terrible rattling, which happened at all times. So it was always going and that is not typically normal for an airplane. So having the Bonneville actually isolated me from all that noise. And that was quite beautiful. Also, the Bonneville has the advantage of offering such a good passive noise isolation that I don't really have the issue of my eardrums hurting during a plane flight. I am one of those who has a poor communication between the nose and the ear, which causes me pain during a plane flight. The Bonneville has eliminated that issue entirely. This beautiful shiny EM has just one disadvantage when it comes to comfort that it requires aftermarket tips. The default tips are basically a selection of foamies and I don't have the best comfort with foam tips. So the DD Hi-Fi ST35 have been my ear tips of choice. They work quite well and they provided me with both a good seal and a good overall sonic performance. The cable has a soft ear guide that goes around your ear, which is super pleasing because it is not a hard ear guide. It will not hurt my ear, but it does keep the Bonneville right in place in my ears. The cable also has four wires running through it, so it is purely balanced. It has this 4.4 millimeter jack, which is of a good quality. And the EMs are connected to the cable via an MMCX connector. I did test the Bonneville with aftermarket cables, for example, with the Luminox Audio Sapphirus, which has an MMCX connector, but I did prefer the default cable a bit more. The Sapphirus does improve the sound of the Campfire Cascara because the Cascara is quite warm and has a very bassy sound. But with the Bonneville, I like the signature quite a lot already. The Bonneville does have ventilation, so there is no driver flex, even though it has a dynamic driver. The balanced armatures are matched very nicely with the dynamic driver. And as Campfire Audio has stated in their website, it is better to have a lower number of drivers, which are very good, than to have a large number of drivers, all of which are mediocre in quality. This is because when you have a lot of drivers, you tend to run into coherency issues. There are peaks and dips which can cancel each other out and you end up with a sound which can be quite colored. With fewer drivers, you typically have a better sound. And this is brought to the point where most flagships tend to have just one dynamic driver or one dynamic driver and a few balanced armatures. When we have a large number of balanced armatures, they are much harder to match up. Campfire Bonneville 
tends to be quite easy to drive and campfire audio EMs tend to have a reputation of being somewhat sensitive to source noise. And most of them are somewhat sensitive to source noise. Even campfire Ara, campfire Dorado, campfire Vega, all of them tend to be somewhat sensitive to source noise. They will reveal if the source has a high output impedance via hissing, they will hiss when the source has a high output impedance and they will reveal the source quality quite easily. With Campfire Bonneville, this is not an issue. They have a much lower source sensitivity, although they do have a bit of source sensitivity as well. So they will reveal hissing, but not quite as easily as the other Campfire EMs. The comfort of the cable is quite good. It does not conduct microphonic noise easily. The comfort of the EMs is pretty much excellent once you have replaced the tips. And the sound of the Bonville is also a big reason why I choose it to be my music companion for some of my most special moments in my life. So this is an EM that sounds pure. The sound is so pure, so exciting and so direct that nothing provides quite as much power and warmth at the same time as it has the same resolution and technical ability as the Bonville. This is the type of EM that can deliver a very deep punch. They have a deep rumble, the bass touches 20 Hz easily, but comparing the Bonville to E12, for example, which is a bass head EM, the Bonville is much more balanced. It has a lower amount of bass, but it has a more present midrange, a higher amount of treble. The treble tends to have more air, more sparkle, and it tends to sound more natural overall. The E12 tends to have a much fuller bass, much deeper bass, but at the same time, the bass is the central element of the sound, where with the Bonville, every single aspect of the sound feels like the central element of the sound. They are slightly V-shaped, so the voices are very slightly recessed compared to the bass and the treble, but it's not a big enough difference for you to feel like the voices are distant. The voices feel present, they feel forward. It's just that the bass is tuned slightly louder and the treble is slightly more present. The treble has a good extension up to about 15 kilohertz, after which it rolls off slowly. Although there is a bit of a peak at about nine to 11 kilohertz. That peak can create a slightly metallic sound to cymbals, but I do think that cymbals should sound slightly metallic. It is unnatural to hear a cymbal sound like paper or like wood, a cymbal is made of metal and a tiny bit of metallic tinge tends to make it very natural in sound. The Bonville tends to present music in a 3D holographic space. They create this kind of presentation where everything is wide. There is a good amount of instrument separation. Each instrument is presented in both its own space and as its own entity. You hear every single instrument in particular. The sound tends to be very well defined. Everything has a very good resolution. You can hear micro textures. You can hear dynamics. It is a very dynamic sounding pair of VMs and we have an excellent tonality for both male and female voices. While most EMs tend to favor one over the other because naturally if you have more upper mid-range, female voices will sound a bit more natural. While if you have more lower mid-range, male voices will be more present while female voices won't be quite as advantaged. The Kemper Bonville has both a good lower mid-range and an upper mid-range, so you hear both male and female voices sounding really vivid, natural, direct and really personal, with a lot of emotion. I was just talking last night with some of my friends who make music and we were trying to see if I'm using the correct words to describe the sound. Because I don't feel like dynamics is a good word, but it seems it is. It is even used in the orchestra. They use the same words as I, as a reviewer, would be using. So that was a pleasant surprise because at many times I feel like I may be a bit of a clown for using those terms because I wasn't quite sure if they are musical terms, but it seems that they understand what I mean when I describe the sound. We had a lengthy conversation about what terms I should avoid using, and it seems that every single term that I'm using, they would be using as well when playing in the orchestra. They would want to have a more dynamic sound. The timber is something that they price. Even textures are something which makes sense for someone playing an instrument, even a blow instrument, even a guitar. Everything just makes sense to them as well. So those are musical terms. They may be hard to understand if you are coming from a tech-only environment. Audiophile Heaven is a channel mainly about music. I do review other stuff as well, smartphones, keyboards, other stuff because I am a technophile, I love tech. But if you are into music, those are words that 
should make sense. If you are coming only from a tech background, then you won't quite understand until you have a bit of experience with audio. Back to the Bonville, this is an EM that can reproduce every single instrument quite perfectly, actually. And it was surprising because most EMs tend to favor certain instruments. For example, there are EMs that can reproduce acoustic instruments well, but will struggle with electronic instruments, with synthesizers. But the Bonville can reproduce both a good synth, a good piano, a guitar, a cymbal, and even a flute. Everything just sounds natural out of the Bonville. If anything, it has a bit of extra warmth and a bit of extra thickness, which can sound a bit unnatural at first. Because you aren't used to hearing instruments with such a voluptuous presentation, the Bonville sounds like you are sitting in the first row at a classical music concert, for example. Even at a rock concert, it is a first row experience. Everything is holographic and wide, but everything has a good amount of warmth, a good amount of substance, and a good amount of impact. Usually when listening to a classical concert, for example, from a more distant spot, especially if you are in the back of the listening room, you hear a much wider sound, but the sound tends to be much brighter as well. You don't get the same amount of low end in the back of the listening room. And this is what some EMs go for, while Bonville goes for that first row experience. It provides exactly the kind of sound you'd have if you were sitting in the first row, if you are the first person just personal with the instruments, but still not intimate and not narrow. The sound stage is quite good at providing a holographic presentation of your music. I think that the Bonville is perfect with bands like Escape the Fate, with bands like Alessana, but also with bands like Mindless Self-Indulgence, Metallica. Basically, every single band sounds just outstanding with the Bonville. Whom would I recommend the Bonville to? Basically everyone. It is an EM that would suit both someone who is a slight bass head, someone who likes a good treble, someone who likes a natural sound. In fact, the only people that wouldn't enjoy the Bonville would be extremists. For example, if you know that you like an extremely heavy bass, it isn't made for you. Then I would recommend the Fear Audio E12 or Electron 12. That is a better EM for a bass head. And I wouldn't recommend the Bonville if you were someone who enjoys a really bright treble either. Because if you want a really, really bright sound, they won't offer that either. They have a very balanced, natural, slightly warm, slightly mid-shade, slightly V-shaped sound that will be perfect if you just enjoy music as it should be naturally. Also, if you want a sound that just has the mids, if you want a really mid-centric sound, it won't satisfy you either because the sound doesn't have a very forward mid-range. It is just balanced and natural. It is as it should be. Campfire even makes an EM, which is more <laughs> bass head for those who want a deep low end, and that is the Cascara. I will be reviewing the Cascara in video and writing too. But I hope that in the meanwhile, the Bonville review will satisfy you. And if you decide to go for it, I hope that you'll have a lot of fun. If you are enjoying the content, please subscribe to the File Heaven to learn more about audio. If you liked the video, please do like the video. It helps me out in the algorithm and it helps other people see my reviews. Thank you so much for watching and I hope we'll see each other really soon. Bye bye. <laughs>